can see I've just got the last row to do down here. Don't look at the top, I've just put them in, the bobbins in so that I could go through this. So you'll have to bear with me on this. It's not actually a bookmark, it's just a, an example for you to see. Okay, I'm just going to push those bobbins out of the way. And this is the side I'm going to work on first. Now, on the pattern, don't forget, we're going to have, there are 22 pairs on here, so we're going to have 11 pairs ending up down at the bottom here, so it's going to get ever so tight. So I, at this stage, I stopped doing cloth and twist, other than for the foot side. So I do cloth stitch through that pair, one twist and then I'm going to put two pairs the other side got to get rid of them somewhere so we have two pairs the other side put the pin in Let's pull that green one down Okay, I've done them all in different colours so that you can actually see what happens to them. And then, as you do on a foot side, I'm going to go back through one. No twists. And I'm going to take the next one. And I'm going to go through in cloth stitch. Come to the end. Do my cloth and twist and my two twists. Put up the pin, and then take go back through one. This is actually quite thick cotton, so it's going to be quite interesting. Right, then we take the next one, we cloth stitch through we come to the last one one twist cloth and twist and two twists both go the other side as though you're doing a foot side put the pin in pull them all down as you can see the black one is staying on the inner side you'll be able to see that more as we get further down back through one. So the green one's always going to be on the outside. Okay, let's continue on. We've got the blue one to do next. Cloth stitch. Twist once. Cloth and twist through the end. Twist twice. Put them the other side of a pin. pin in pull tight now because you've got so much so much cotton in this gap you really do have to pull these down quite hard so if you've been on been doing a large piece your cotton will have got quite thin by this stage you have to be a bit careful as I've just put this on, I can heave like crazy. Okay, next one. Cloth stitch through. Twist. Cloth and twist through the last one. Twist twice. Put up your pin, pull it tight and pull it all down. It's getting really quite tight in there, 
but I've got a few more to add so you really do have to really force it in it's actually not easy to do this last bit okay now the purple one them twist once cloth and twist twist twice put up your pin pull them all down as tight as you can that one across really pull these down because I've used quite thick cotton you can actually see the twists on them right three to go twist, twist twice, grab a pen, whoops, excuse my skin, put up your pen, pull, and both of them, and then pull all your pairs down. through, cloth stitch all the way through, one twist sorry, cloth and twist, twist twice. Put up your pen, pull them down hard. both ones of those okay and last one as you can see it's got really tight down there cloth stitch all the way through your pen okay pull down hard and 
and pull that one. Now that, I tend to use both of those to make the tassel. So I'm going to pin those back up there. These I've now finished with. I tend not to do the bottom pin. So I'm just going to push those over there, pin them down and leave them there. And then I'm going to work on the other side. Okay, I've got my threads. Now, let's pass them underneath first. Lift your bobbins up. Pass them underneath. Bring them to the top. And then tie a single knot as tight as you can. And really tight. Now, I'm just going to do a few to show you. If you've done macrame, then fine. If not, you take one side and you do a loop across the front. You take the other one, do a loop across the back and then put the back one up through the front one. And you pull tight. And then you do it the other way round. So you loop that one across the front. It's easier if you've got slightly more cotton left on your bobbins. Put the other one up through the back. And pull tight. And then we'll do it that way again. So over that one. And it's just the basic macrame stitch. And it, it just gives the bob the bookmark just that little uh, just it's just slightly different rather I mean you can just tie it in a knot. But I like just doing a bit of macrame down there. Is it just I'll only do that much. Makes it look a little bit different. And then all you do you take your trusty scissors there's the one that's still there cut your bobbins off make your tassel all the same length and there's your bookmark tassel <laughs>